My name is Stefano Battiston. I work in economic complex networks at the Polytechnic of uh, Zurich in Switzerland. The economic discipline was uh, not taken in, in, into account enough the, the role of moral hazard, the distortion of incentives into the system, and also the, um, the fact that interconnectivity between financial institutions, between countries, between economies in general, uh, has both positive and negative effects. We have been able to improve the stress testing techniques, uh, including those uh, network effects and amplification that we were missing before. And, um, uh, and more in general, we have also uh, been able to show that um, interconnectivity, in general, the, the, the structure of the network plays a role, and, uh, and this role can be both good or bad, and uh, this has to be uh, carefully taken into account. So my main contribution to the forecasting of systemic risk in this project has been the development of a novel indicator, which is called debt rank. And uh, the debt rank of an institution is telling, how, it is telling us uh, how much the distress of that institution would cause a how much loss would cause to the rest of the system. So in more technical terms, this is the so-called systemic importance of the financial institution. And um, it's interesting that this notion has been inspired by um, other typical measures that are used in networks, that, and this is the, the notion of centrality, but it has been uh, specifically adapted to the context of financial networks. In today's, uh, today's economy, um, there are certain sectors of the, um, of the economy that are able to um, influence the, the the, the political agenda much more than others and in particular much more than the majority of the citizens. And uh, this is sometimes uh, leading to uh, the design of policies that are favoring uh, one part of the society and not necessarily the majority of it. The first one is an application for um, people working in the central banks and they could have uh, the possibility, they do have um, a widget essentially to monitor the state of the, um, the interbank market and in more general of the financial network of, um, of their country um, at any given time and uh, they would be able to better see when uh, bad situations are, situations are coming. What I would really like to see in the future is that we have an application on our uh, smartphones where we can um, visualize the, the state of the global financial network and possibly make decisions on our uh, everyday consumption um, in order to mitigate that those, those uh, global risks. <laughs>